Adam, I'm now going to ask you a series of questions that we've been referring to as my rapid fire questions. Are you ready? I am. Okay. When did you first know you wanted to be a lawyer? Probably when I was about 15 or 16 years old. It was something that I had always, had always had some interest in, and it led to my working after my sophomore year of college at one of the leading criminal defense firms in the United States, and then and then through law school and joining a plaintiff's practice almost immediately out of law school. Great. Adam, do you have a favorite attorney that you like to litigate against? I do, yes. Can you share that information with the crowd? I prefer not to. Fair enough. Adam, what's been the biggest change to the class action landscape over the last five years? I think we've seen a shift as a result of Again, the ECF expansion and the online information being shared by everybody, that everyone gets involved with everything. Everyone knows what everyone else is doing. And I think it's created inc incredible inefficiencies. But I think we've also seen in the past five years sort of the pendulum swinging back in favor of a more expansive reading of Rule 23, the way that I believe that it was originally intended. And I think we've been seeing that in case after case these days. Adam, what's the best legal movie? Probably The Verdict. And the best non-legal movie? <sighs> it's a good question. There's probably The Godfather. That's a good answer. Adam, is there a particular book that you've gifted more than any other book in your career or in your life? Yes, I've actually given The Devil in the White City to lots of different people. I think that it actually, it sums up being a Chicago lawyer and being someone who, although I'm not from here, uh, has really been here the bulk of his adult life. I think that it gives people a great background as to a lot of things that happened in 1893, and I think there are certain things, especially as a lawyer, and the chase that happened in that book that have application in what we do in the modern day. What was your least favorite law school class? Funny thing is, probably legal writing, to tell you the truth, because I felt that it was being done in a vacuum and it didn't have any real world application. I mean, I started out, I was going to be a professional writer, and then to go into legal writing to get the life sucked right out of what you write was really hard. In your opinion, what's the biggest growth area in class action law? What I hope is the biggest growth area is smart lawyers filing high quality cases. We're not seeing, we're not seeing enough of that these days, and I think the result is the weaker cases resulting in bad case law that hurt the better cases. Which is a worse case for the plaintiff's bar, Carrera, Concepcion, or Dukes? I would say Concepcion. In your opinion, what is the most worthy legal nonprofit? That's a very hard question. There are so many worthy nonprofits out there. Legal nonprofit or non legal nonprofit? Legal. Legal nonprofit. Uh, probably public justice. Do you advise the next generation to go to law school? That's a very hard question to answer in a rapid fire thing. I think that the legal industry is really in a state of change right now. And I think when you see, again, the AMLO 100 firms, sometimes they hire, sometimes they don't. When firms on our side are retrenching in some ways right now, I think that it's very, I think that if you, what I would advise someone is that if they are looking to get involved in law to actually help people, I would say there's always room for those kinds of lawyers. If, you're, if, if, if the reason you have for going to law school is because you don't know what else to do, or you think that it's a good foundation for other things, or you think you can make a lot of money, that's not why you should go. You should go because you have a desire to help people and foster what I think is the best and most important legal system in the world. Adam, which is the most beautiful courthouse in the United States? I would say the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco. It's a fairly popular answer. <laughs> um, 
And, and lastly, if you had one poignant piece of advice to impart on the next generation of lawyers, what would that be? Read the entire case. Don't read head notes. You're not going to win reading head notes. I will beat you every time. Right. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you.